Hey you guys, all right. I'm working on uploading that Dollar Tree haul video. I also have some footage in there, some videos, some pictures, a little bit of like mini reviews for you guys. In this video, I'm doing a Whole Foods haul and I also went to two other local markets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that stuff in here too. Most of the products you could purchase, you could find them anywhere else if you were interested in them. Um, there are products that I purchased for um, to make micheladas for the holiday, you know, fiestas patrias. And then um, some of the products, maybe you can't find them. They're like kind of quirky items that are... I think the positives to having little local stores around you, mom and pop kind of style. So yeah, let me get into it here. Uh, where should I start? Let me start with some of those quirky items. Really, it's just one quirky item that I found here. Um, I have my receipts with me to make sure I don't forget anything. Some of the items are already like put away because I actually hauled these yesterday and I meant to upload right away, but some things came up and I wasn't able to record. Mm. But, um, but I'll mention them. So how about this? I don't know if the glare is in the way. I don't think so. I have it upside down. Isn't that like too cute? Forgive my shiny forehead. Um, blinding forehead. I saw these. And these were in uh, my La Unica store. This is like a Hispanic, Latino kind of store close to us. Um, if you live in the Chicago or if you're visiting, it's awesome. They have a little cafe in there. They have their little store in there and they have parking. Um, and every now, actually more and more often, I find products like, like this that I wouldn't see in Walmart, you know, it's very old school. Like, who is this guy on the side of the, like, what is this? <laughs> these are, um, let me see, how old are these cups? <laughs> Anyways, it was 49 cents. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cups in here. Um, I just thought they were too cute. So anyways, I grabbed that. And then these, you won't find them everywhere, but I think they're becoming more and more popular. It's a Mexican brand, Grisi. They're alcohol-free, fresh fragrance, extra soft, resistant. They have chamomile and aloe vera. They're hypoallergenic. And these were $149, so I figured 80 wipes for $1.50. That's pretty good. And I, I haven't used that product in a very long time, so I can't tell you, like, I love them or hate them. I'm really not sure. And then, um, but I'll be sure to get back to you guys on that because I use wipes from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to probably, most, I'm going to do some kind of video where I'm comparing wipes. Um, then the other things that I got from La Unica were limes. Soy sauce, Tabasco sauce. I thought I had the, yeah, I had the little box here. Limes, soy sauce, Tabasco sauce, and and then those two items. So the limes and the Tabasco were for my michelada recipe, which I'll mention that here in a second. Um, the other little store that I went to, it's called the Vaughn Market. It's a cool store. Um, they have tons of sales in there. They also have parking. And it's right uh, diagonal, diagonally located across from La Unica. So they're like on the same block. And um, from there, I got some Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure how I pronounce that. I got some V8, the low sodium tomato juice. Um, I got some, we got some Tecate beers, Mexican beer, and we also got some cactus 
the jarred cactus. It's the Zonia Maria um, brand, and they had it on sale for a dollar. And that we just like to heat that up with eggs, like scrambled eggs um, for breakfast, even like any meal you could do that. Um, so let me see the the Worcestershire, the tomato juice, and the beer were for the micheladas. So there's that. In case you're wondering, I think my, I think my sister got this for me at um, Walgreens maybe a year ago or more. Um, it's a little like Day of the Dead candy skull. It's the Cool Gear, and I have some Pure Leaf iced tea in here. In case you're wondering, okay. Whole Foods. I took my. Let me make some room for myself here. Hold on. I took some. Eh, I have so much stuff here, you guys. I took my trusty bag. It's from H E B. Isn't it cute? The cashier. Um, at the, at Whole Foods was like, oh, it's just so cute. Um says H-E-B, Day of the Dead, reusable bag. It was a dollar. Okay, so this item from Whole Foods, I already cracked into it. They're the Buffalo Blue Kettle brand, crinkle cut potato chips. Love this chip. Um, I think the chips are like three bucks. Um, let me make sure. Oh, $2.69. This one was two sixty nine for five ounces. Now these are Chicago prices, so I don't know if they'd be different from your Whole Foods. These are a new purchase for me. Oh, by the way, these are a little spicy. Um, these are a new purchase for me. Now avocado oil, I love. I've used it before. I'll use it again. Um, this is four point two ounces. This one was $2.99. So yeah, I don't know if it's a new item. I don't remember seeing it there before. But I'm definitely going to try these and see how good they taste. I considered doing a taste test here in the video, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do it towards the end. That way for those of you who could care less about it, I'm not taking up your time. This is a repurchase. Um... It's the base body care, 100% natural facial cleansing sea sponge. This is awesome. Now we all have different skin types, you know, um, I can't say that it'll be awesome for you, but I used it for a few months. I stopped using it for a couple months and I've noticed a difference. I don't think it's just the the summer that my hair my face has been more oily I think it's that I stopped using this because there were days where I would just use this and nothing else and I was cleaning my face but I wasn't like stripping it of natural oils um, I just really think that sometimes when you don't use product on your face or the less you do to your skin I I really think that it's better at least for me I'll just put that out there, in my opinion, okay? Um, but, so I'm, I'm excited to use this again and see if I notice a difference. It is $3.99. Um, I imagine you could get this cheaper somewhere else, I hope. Um, and it's, so it's BassBrushes.net. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this again in my life. I grabbed some bananas. They have them, I think, 69 cents a pound. Yeah, and the sign said something like new lower price. I don't remember how much they were for a pound before, but anyways, they're organic. I use bananas all the time for my smoothies, so there's that. Mm. Okay, I grabbed some dish soap. I'd used their almond um, scent before, 
smells so good. If you love almond, like, like I used to use that Jergens cherry and almond. I love that stuff. I just try not to purchase it anymore because I try to um, buy mostly cruelty free items, you know. But um, this is pear. <laughs> It smells like pears, you guys. It smells really good. This one, how much was it? They were on sale two for six dollars. So this was um, 25 full ounces for three dollars. Yeah. And um, so it has a little leaping bunny on there. Love that. Um, I just... I like it. I sometimes I buy my dish soap from Dollar Tree, but I just for one I wanted to change it up and um, if I see like new scents there and stuff, I might I might get it. But I'm always happy when I purchase something like this that is greener, you know, kind of thing. So okay, and then the last items at Whole Foods. Um, I think it started Friday, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they had a sale on their Good brand, I think it's Good brand, um, soap, I'll show you the bag, and um, I think they have this sale once a year, maybe twice, so if you go to Whole Foods, or you're interested in going to Whole Foods, um, I mean, every now and then they do have sales and some of their products, you know, it's going to be the same price as other stores, some, some other stuff. Um, and they do have coupons. I mean the whole thing. And so this is one of my favorite sales because we, we use these soaps. Um, I think they do have palm oil in there. So for some of you, you may not like that. Um, yeah, I don't know all the details about this product, but I do know that some of these I really enjoy. So they were a dollar for each bar, and you could have purchased any number of them, at least in my store, and at least from what I see saw from their Facebook page, you didn't have to buy like five for five dollars, or you didn't have to buy ten for ten dollars. Um, Every bar was a dollar regardless. So this one is the strawberry one. And I've used this one before, so I grabbed two of those because I knew I liked those. Um, they had run out of the peppermint, and my boyfriend loves the peppermint, uh, but we ran out. they ran out of that. So I grabbed these two. Sorry for the glare. If you can tell, this one's like a light green. This is cucumber and this one's blackberry. So, yeah, a part of me wanted to buy two and two again, but I was like, you know, watch your spending, blah, blah, blah. Um, six soaps is enough. And then, um,. These last two, I, I think these two are my favorite. They're the coconut. And, so, and they're just white bars. So we got two of the coconuts. So yeah. If you have a Whole Foods near you, check them out every now and then. I love their cinnamon rolls. Um, I also love Trader Joe's, which I compare to Whole Foods. Um, but that one's farther away from us. But I think their prices are better. Um, and otherwise, I think that's all we got, all I got from Whole Foods. So the only other thing I wanted to mention in this video was that Michilada um, mix. So I don't, I don't have the products in front of me, but I do have a video. Sorry, I do have a video where I mention. Um, like I do the recipe and the whole thing. Um, I will say in this one, I think what was different this time around that I made michiladas was I added some olives and some of the juice. And these I grabbed them from Dollar Tree. Um, I added Tabasco 
and um, this one if if you like your michelada spicier or maybe you maybe you like bloody mary's i i think they're comparable to bloody mary's if you like them spicy then you want to use some of this my boyfriend likes his michelada spicy i've also seen tabasco sauce in the dollar tree so that's something to keep in mind um other than that the other ingredients that i add are soy sauce and worcestershire sauce those two i recommend getting quality products so like the soy sauce i got the kikoman brand the worcestershire i forget the the brand but at the top of the ingredients you should you should see like anchovies and things that you can read and recognize you know not like other ingredients that you're like what is that in the sauce you know so my worcestershire cost four dollars and some change compared to another one that was like two dollars and something but the ingredients the quality was different you know what i mean so i think when you really want like the flavor if you can afford it go for those better brands um and then the other items were the tomato juice they have now they have tomato juices like clamato that's a brand that one's good they have some with low sodium like v8 they have some with a uh, seafood flavoring in, in it like um shrimp flavoring that's good they have tomato juices that are spicy so they're gonna add you know um, even more kick to your michelada also what was the other oh clam juice in my pantry i have the bumblebee brand of clam juice and it's a little salty so you want to be careful with that but it adds some good flavor um i purchased this from dollar tree the star kissed chopped clams and so there's juice in here so you could add this to your drink or you could even add the clams to it you know um because in micheladas it's you can add a little stuff like that you can add celery to it you can add like i said the olives to it um you can add some clams to it and i think that's it some of the other ingredients for a little added kick are like um this product called pico limon and it has some lime in there it has a little spice seasonings so around like the cup, you could put some lime around the rim and then uh, twist it around in a plate of that pico limon or salt or celery salt, whatever you wanted. And you could even add some more to your drink. Um, I definitely add lime juice to my drink. And depending on the salt content, I might add a little bit more salt. But yeah, if I, if I forget anything, I'll leave it in the description box. Um, that's that's just something that I do every year now for um, for the fiestas patrias, for Mexican independence celebrations, and my boyfriend loves them. You know, if I didn't mention the beer, like you you would add a beer to it, but you really don't have to. It's tasty on its own. Um, and if all else fa fails. Since, in my opinion, it's similar to a Bloody Mary, you could just make your your own Bloody Mary mix and add a beer to it instead or, you know, go that way. The only thing about, like, if you purchase mixes, for me, it's not as good as when you make your own. And, uh, like, with everything else, everyone has their own versions of what they, you know, what a michelada is. They're going to add all kinds of stuff to it. Um, I've had some really, really tasty ones in Texas, in Mexico. And so I'm sure as time goes on, I'm going to probably add more and more to it or, you know, who knows. But yeah, again, uh, that I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope you all are well. I hope you enjoyed this video hope I didn't forget anything 
<laughs> I'm sure I'm repeating myself, but there's just so much going on here. And, uh, hey, thanks for watching, you guys. Be safe. Take care. Bye. Food is so good. Fiestas patrias. <laughs> Look at these. Are cool. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> yeah. How you been? Yeah. How you doing? Good, good. good, good. Yeah. Tonight boxing? No? No yeah, watching? No, no. Yeah, they watch it, yeah. You watch? Yeah. Where? Here? Today, yeah? Yeah. Canelo? Canelo? No. Genazi? Genazi. Genazi? Yeah. Oh, Genazi really? Yeah. Really? This is 400. Huh? 400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Good luck, man. Okay, man. <laughs> okay. See ya. Ciao. What are we getting? What are we getting? Ah, si, Genazi. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't even know who I'm going for. I know a lot of people. Though.